This much we can say at this moment. The planet Venus is a very hot planet. The atmosphere is dense, and its primary constituent is carbon dioxide. There are many mysteries yet remaining about the planet Venus. These mysteries will be solved by further analysis of our present data, and hopefully by more experience of this type in the future. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, presents Aeronautics and Space Report. Next month, NASA plans to launch an unmanned Mariner spacecraft to the planet Venus. We know very little about Venus because we cannot see through its thick clouds. The 540-pound Mariner will attempt to shed light on the origin and nature of the planet and its environment, giving us additional knowledge about our solar system. Ever since the first people were gazing up at the skies, they had to have noticed Venus. It's so incredibly bright. In the ancient records of the Mayans, the Greeks, the Chinese, people all over the world were seeing Venus up there, naming it and writing all sorts of stories about it. But we could say that the first modern observations of Venus began with the use of a telescope in 1610. Galileo, in the early 1600s, turned his telescope on to Venus, and he looked at the phases of Venus, and that really refuted the geocentric model that was in play and commonly accepted. Galileo's observations were one of the first uh, clear examples of how observing another world could tell you about your own. For the next 300 years, Venus continued to be an obvious target for telescopes. These early observations eventually revealed that Venus had a thick, dense atmosphere. This discovery would define our image of the planet. Rather than seeing it as a meandering bright star, Venus was now our mysterious sister planet. Early in the 20th century, we were making huge advances in science in all kinds of different fields. With the advances, we started getting observations of Venus using spectroscopy and using ultraviolet wavelengths. The astronomers of the time were making fairly reasonable assumptions that the atmosphere on Venus is very similar to the one on Earth, and that the clouds that they were observing were made up of water vapor and subsequently they concluded that the Venetian atmosphere was really wet and stormy and the surface was swampy. And a lot of astronomers at the time even concluded that it was really good conditions for life. Venus. The planet Venus. So as we look back at the science fiction movies at the time, we see the Venusian surface portrayed with the big giant swamp monsters roaming all over it. Some of you may also have heard the story of a monster now confined here in Rome Zoo. That beast is from Venus. anything like this before in fact or fiction first spaceship on venus 